Episode 16. It's the Bob Doyle Show. It's the Bob Doyle Show. It's the Bob Doyle Show. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, dogs, cats, whatever you've got, bring them on in. If they've got eyes and ears, they are candidates for viewership of the Bob Doyle Show, which you are watching right now on Facebook Live, hopefully. I'm going to refresh my Facebook Live, uh, my Facebook page right now to make sure that I am in fact on. Yes, I am. And now I can take your comments. And that's the way that works. Welcome to the Bob Doyle Show. This is kind of a different one, as I, and I always say that at the beginning of every single show, because that's the way it is. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we have two special guests with us today. And the first one is my entire Periscope audience. And I've just brought them on the screen right now. What you're looking at, and so let's let's hear it for the Facebook audience. They are 30 strong. Hey, where's my volume? Okay. And they are hearting and they're saying hello. Woohoo. You, ha- you add the hearts by 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 uh, by tapping the screen. If you a lot of these people are brand new to Periscope and they're just getting started and they're just learning it themselves. And I'm one of the first people that they followed. And I'm gonna tell the story about this because to, like, yesterday was this crazy, crazy, surreal day for me on Periscope. And I wanna talk about it because I think there's some implications, certainly for those of you here on Periscope who are brand new and, and wondering about Facebook Live. And if you're on Facebook and you've never done Periscope, well, now you're looking at it and you can see kind of where, where this all came from to some extent. So we're going to talk about the, the technology a little bit, but we're also going to talk about how this happened in the first place. Because yesterday I went on to uh, Facebook Live, I mean, I'm sorry, to, to Periscope, that for, for what I thought was gonna be about four minutes. Just to kind of say, you know what guys, I'm kind of leaving Periscope because everything's happening over at Facebook Live. And I had my typical four or five people in the room and there was not that much going on. And then I had, well, a couple of people shared, and that brought the, the numbers up to around, oh, I don't know, 20 people or something like that. And then Yo Pickles comes in with her flash mob of hearts, and suddenly the room fills up with people, all saying positive things. See these comments streaming up here. This is the way the Periscope work. This is why if you watch me on Facebook Live, and I'm always saying, come on, leave comments, because this is what I'm used to, this level of interaction. And by the way, hello to jo- uh, Jory and Michael and Dan. Stop it, Dan. And uh, Jennifer Myers, also all leaving comments on Facebook Live. So we broadcast here on Facebook Live three times a week. And um, on uh, Sundays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays, generally at 6 p.m. And, uh, Pacific time. And that's what we're doing today. So yesterday I went on to, uh, Denise has joined us in Periscope. So just keep in mind, everybody, I'm talking to two different audiences right now. I'm trying to. So um, yes, it's, it's, it's all got to be interactive. but. Wow, I'm looking at too many conversations right now. But that's the fun part. Penny's over here on Facebook. Penny's over here in, uh, in uh, Periscope. And if you are on Facebook and you'd like to be a part of this Periscope broadcast, if you have the Periscope app, of course, I am at Bob Doyle Secret, and you can follow me there and be a part of, there, part of this broadcast. So you can see your name in lights this way. You want to know another way you can see your name in lights? I'm going to show you, but I have to push a button because I clearly didn't uh, push it in enough time. So here's the thing. If you see below me, there's a blank little thing that's about to fill up. This is the Twitter feed. See? It automatically populates any Twitter, that, any tweet that goes out that has the hashtag Bob Doyle Show in it, which means that if you shared this broadcast on Periscope, I'm talking to you now. If you share this broadcast on Periscope, that share will end up right here on this screen. How cool is that? So you can see why I'm excited about Facebook Live. Now, by the way, just so you know, the what I'm doing here, these aren't Facebook Live features, okay? So going to Facebook Live just by doing that doesn't give you the ability to do the graphic overlays and all this other stuff. That is done with a piece of software, and there are other soft pieces of software out there that do this kind of thing. This, I think, is the best one I, well, I know it's the best one I've ever tried. It's called Wirecast, and if you want to check it out, you can go to bobdoyleshow.com slash Wirecast. And we'll be doing several shows on this kind of technology. This is not, by the way, a technology show. It's a show about whatever the, whatever I'm interested in that day, and today it's this, because yesterday was crazy. 
and, and really, really interesting on so many levels. And, and I was talking to Yo Pickles uh, a little bit ago before we came on, and she was talking about how she had had a couple of like law of attraction-y type of things happen this week, and then she just happens to pick my periscope at random to come in and flash mob, and now we're having this conversation, she's on the show, and all of this stuff just, it just really, the timing of it was amazing. And so, I, there's so much I wanna show you right here. I did, let me just real quick, before I go to Yo Pickles, I wanna share something with you. Um, if you are on Periscope, you need to know about this tool. And if you're serious about it, if you, if, you know, whether it's for personal reasons or business reasons, if, it's, if it intrigues you, you need to know about Fullscope.tv. Fullscope.tv breaks down your Periscope statistics. It tells you how many followers you have, how many people were on your call, I mean, on your thing, how many, uh, the, fa the flash mob did rock, it totally rocked. Um, uh, how, you know, how long people were there, all the comments they left, how many hearts, everything you, ha you, you want to see. So I'm going to just go ahead and log in here with my Twitter account just to kind of show you what I'm looking at because I want to show you the impact of what Yo, Yo Pickles did and how it happened because at first we were all super mystified. Okay, so if you look along on this, this chart, this very unimpressive bar chart here, if you look all along the bottom, these, the blue here, I know it's small, but this represents the viewers of my show, and the, this will tell you why I was considering leaving Periscope. There just wasn't, there, no one was showing up, right? And, and I could come over here to Facebook, and that's where everybody is. So I thought, well, that's where to do the show, okay, obviously. Um, so then yesterday happened, and you can see this spike here. 485 people watched live during the course of this, during the course of this broadcast. Before that, the highest number on this particular chart was 45 when I was doing my law of attraction scopes on a regular basis, on a weekly basis, maybe it was 60 people or so. So 485 is off the charts, okay? Now that in large part was due to, to Yo Pickles and all the people that came in uh, because that happened while, obviously, whoops, while I was on. And that's the, those were the live views. Let me break it down. If I can go down, I can drill down further and you can see there were 485 live viewers, 229 people replayed it. That's, that's see that right there means beyond the flash mob, people watched, at least some of it, 229 people did and 44 people watched from the web. Periscope is generally a, an, a, an app for your phone, but you can watch it from the web. You can't participate with it on the web. So 45 people, 755 comments, 79,000 hearts. Hearts are what you see streaming here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hope that they, that they are streaming. See them streaming? That means people tap on the screen to say, hey, I like what you're saying, ish, or whatever. They're, they're, they're giving you props. They're, they're encouraging you on, okay? And so seven, almost 80,000 hearts yesterday. Again, these are just, for me, phenomenal records. You know, there are people out there who get this kind of audience and then some every day, but never me. And I was about to leave because of it, right? So, so then, and then now, if you see this number here, followers added, 37 new fo to followers are like, you know, you want followers. It's kind of like subscribers to your email list or whatever. There are people who've said, I like you enough to follow you so that I may or may not get notified when you go live, right? So, um, so 37 people did that during the show, but since the show, 1,857 people have followed me. That's insane, right? I'm looking at, I'm looking at Yo Pickles. So the thing is, I only had 485 views, right? So where'd these eight, 1,857 people come from? They weren't from the views, they weren't from the replays, so what were they from? And then Lynn, Lynn Rose, said, I wonder if you were featured or whatever. Maybe you're trending, which is a term that I don't really understand all the implications of. And maybe, maybe you do, Yo Pickles. I don't know. So, so we'll talk to her about that. But basically, I guess it put me on the front page. And now I just get the... I had to turn notifications off for this broadcast because all you would see on this... I don't know. All right. So anyway, uh, oops, I pushed the wrong button. I just thought I'd start the show again. It was so much fun the first time, I thought I'd just do the whole show again. No, I pushed the wrong button. All right, so anyway, so I trended, and that's what happened. So all these people, I guess these new people who come into Periscope, maybe they just, they click a button and they're automatic. I don't think they chose me, right? I think what happens is when you sign up for Periscope, maybe they give you some suggested followers or something. I'm not sure. We're going we're gonna to find out here. So let's take one more look at our Periscope people for now. Everybody say goodbye with a little thing. Um, you know, a little emoticon just for now, because I got to switch over my source so I can bring on your pickles. All right. All right. Now I'm going to, I'm going to do that. So just bear with me here.
because I got to be a geek for just a second. Now don't, I'm not, whoops, yikes. I'm not going anywhere. I'm still doing the Periscope. I'm still doing the Periscope. So you guys don't leave and I'm coming back to you. Don't say bye. I'm not leaving you. I'm just, I'm just taking you off my screen. Everybody just relax. Okay, now let me get her on here, hopefully. We're gonna hope that this just works beautifully. Come on. I said, I hope, oh, yeah, here it comes. And, come on now. Oops, sorry. I'm asking it to do a lot. I'm asking it to do a lot. So bear with me just one second. For whatever reason, it's still being kind of stubborn, but we're gonna get yo pickles on here. It's, what it's, what's happening is it's not, it's not asking me if it wants to mirror my screen for some reason. Sorry. This is now for those of you who are new to this show and those of you watching on Periscope, you just have to understand that the Bob Doyle show is by very, I admit it all the time. It's a brand new endeavor. I'm asking myself to do a ton of stuff. I'm asking my computer to do a lot of stuff. I'm asking my phones, my iPads, my everything to just constantly, you know, work overtime. And for some reason, this one is just, it's not for some reason, it's not uh, asking me if I want to mirror my iPhone, which it was doing before. So I, we just have to wait until it allows me to do it. How do you invite? Well, you can swipe, if you're on Periscope, which you are, you can swipe to the left and then the little, the little thing will say share and you can share on Facebook, you can share on Twitter and you can share with your followers, if I remember correctly. Um, Cause like I said, it's been a while. Here we go, I think, yes, we got it. Now there she is, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome live from Korea, Yo Pickles. Okay. So if so hold on, you're seeing you're not you're saying you're not seeing my Facebook Live. Make sure you're going to Facebook.com slash boundless living. Or if that's not working, you can go to YouTube Live. I mean sorry, Bob Doyle Live. It'll go it'll take you to a YouTube live page. You can click on the little icon there and then you can see the show there. You just won't be able to interact here. Let me let me give some love to my uh excuse me, my Facebook peeps because I've been ignoring them and I apologize. Rachel's here, Wendy's here. Uh, Lynn is here, of course, and it scrolls off so fast that I didn't see. And Dr. Jake, one of my voiceover students, is here. But anyway, let's get back to Yo Pickles because she was so kind. After this happened, I, con I contacted her this morning, really, and I didn't know she was in Korea. But I said, hey, you know, I'm doing this show about what happened yesterday. It would be great if I could interview you. And she said yes, and so here she is. Of course, of course. So awesome. So thank you for doing this. And let's talk a little bit. First of all, for those for those people who don't, you know, know who you are, a little about yourself and maybe your history with Periscope, just a, just a scope so people have an understanding. Okay. Um, I've actually been doing live streaming for um, over five years on another app before Meerkat and before Periscope. It was called Hangwith. So oh. a lot of people might have known me from over on Hangwith. Um, it was like what I thought was the new live streaming thing, but that was five years ago. But now with live streaming, it's totally different. Um, I started Periscope maybe three months after it started. I was a little bit late on not joining right when it started. Um, but yeah, uh, I stream my travels. Um, I was in Korea for five years, so I've been doing live streaming of like South Korea and showing showing uh, my travels around Korea. And then also, as you can see, I have a lot of tattoos. Yeah. I do a lot of stuff with the tattoos on live streaming. So same on on. Hang with. I used to do Tattoo Tuesday and Tattoo Talk with Yo Pickles, and I would just talk about different styles of tattoos and um, just giving like advice and stuff for tattoos and how to find the best tattoo artist. And then it's turned into on Periscope um, a tattoo show called Pass the Tat, where I actually feature people and their tattoo stories and why people get the tattoos that they have. And it's kind of cool because every week there's like a new a new story, and some of the stories are wacky and some of the stories are like so heart heart. Like, so, so amazing. Like, yeah. I'll be in tears watching it. And it's kind of cool. Like, for the people that don't understand tattoos and why people get tattoos, it kind of shows people why people have the tattoos that they have on their skin. So, yeah, that's what I do on Periscope. And then I also do the little thing that you know about from yesterday. Okay, before you and, start, before you uh, start, but hold on, before you start, I need to acknowledge, because I didn't think about this. You guys who are watching on Periscope, obviously you can't hear her. And I apologize, I didn't even think that through. But you can't hear her because her phone, the, 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 the audio from the phone is streaming to the show. And you couldn't hear it. So if you go to the Facebook Live feed or to Bob Doyle Live or whatever, anywhere you can see this, then you can hear her. Keep, just keep Periscope running on your on your phone if you can, and then go to a browser or whatever. 
whatever. And then because I want you to experience what hap is, what is happening on Facebook Live anyway. I want you to see what's happening, the split screen, the effects, and all that stuff that's possible. So and yes, I'm sure. So Periscope, I'm sure they're talking about the delay, and clearly there's going to be a much bigger delay on Facebook than on Periscope. That's the nature. These are the, some of the trade-offs or whatever. Okay, so back to the other thing that you talked about, because this, really, <laughs> this is what really sparked it. So tell us about this thing that you do. Okay. Um, I don't know. If you guys know on Periscope, there's, this is how it all started. I'm going to start from the beginning on how it started and like why I do it now every day. Um, there's a lot of trolls on Periscope, and a lot of the trolls are just really disrespectful guys, which I feel like it's just guys that just are from different countries and they don't know really how to say it in a respectful way. Mm -hmm. But anyways, they shouldn't be saying it anyways. But there's a lot of guys that will be like, show something, open this. And yeah, like just because I'm a girl and I, like that, I'm put on this earth to entertain guys. I'm not a cam girl. Anymore. But if you're on Periscope, you know what I'm talking about. There's a lot of things. It's called open Bob because autocorrect has changed boobs to Bob. So, oh, that's <laughs> funny. Doyle, I didn't know. Open Bob. Yay, Bob Doyle. Let's open Bob. Doyle. Um, yeah, so open Bob. So um, I have like a lot of people come in and was doing like the whole open Bob thing. It was kind of when I was first on Periscope and I decided to do something. What I was just with my followers. I was like, let's reverse it. Let's go find some guys that are broadcasting and go in and just totally reverse it and let them have a taste of like what girls have to deal with on Periscope. Yeah. So we went into a couple broadcasts and we we're just like, show side balls, open balls, <laughs> like show man boob. We were just saying all this stuff, which is like pretty much what the guys would do to girls and kind of just giving it a little, a taste of the reality kind of thing. Um, but what happened was the guys that I picked to do that to, they were like totally like the nicest guys ever, would never disrespect anyone. So I kind of felt bad. I was like, okay, sorry. We were just kind of like testing, like <laughs> trying to like just have fun a little bit. Yeah. But actually after we did that, it was like such a success. We had so many people going in. It was kind of nice to like the guys would get so excited. They were like, oh my gosh, I have 175 people watching me, but they're all saying this crazy stuff. So I was like, let's try to flip it and reverse it and do something positive where we go in and we only write positive comments we only say like good things about the person that's broadcasting even if they suck let's make their day so we tried it and it was like a huge success and i was like that was amazing we have to do this every day and we've like it's so weird how it works like i pick people off of like a map or like a dot and usually like what i do is i just randomly find somebody and we just mm -hmm. go in and there's like rules there's rules of the flash mob like we go in we the, the first rule is invite your followers. So we're trying to get as many people as we can in there at one time. The second rule is only write positive comments. So if you're not tapping on hearts, you're writing positive comments. And then it's all about having fun and doing something as a group and a community and making someone's day. And it's pretty much what it is. It's pretty simple, but it's a huge effect. And a lot of my followers are people that we've flash mobbed and just people talking about like, hey, follow your pickles. It's like, we do this positive thing. But actually, Bob, I didn't tell you. I've been traveling in Australia for the last month, and the internet and data there is so, so terrible. Oh. And I actually haven't done a broadcast flash mob in almost a month. And yesterday was the first day that I did it. So I have to ask <laughs> this because it's crazy that, that you just chose mine. Uh, first of all, on a, and first of all, I want to acknowledge those of you who are coming on on Periscope and you're not hearing who I'm talking to. I try to turn up a little speaker in here. I don't know if you can hear her a little bit, but if I turn it up too much, there's going to be all kinds of feedback and it's going to be a problem. I didn't think this part through with if I'm going to do an interview on my phone that you're okay. not going to hear it. So I apologize for that, but you can hear it full volume. I know it's still a little soft. I think it's just, you know, the volume control that she's got on that end. I've got it all cranked up over here uh, to hear her, but over at, um, you know, facebook.com slash boundless living is where the actual show is being broadcast, Bob Doyle Show, where I'm interviewing Yo Pickles right now. We're sharing a screen. There she is smiling. So you're missing it, but you can see the replay if you can't watch it now. Hey, Charlotte Ember, all these people who came in, I, it's, I, I'm sorry I couldn't, you know, I can't greet you when I'm listening to the answer from my guest. But I love, so we're, we're talking about this flash mob she did yesterday, which resulted in my trending on Periscope, which resulted in almost now 1,900 followers in less than 24 hours. So oh, it's awesome. crazy. Uh, okay, hold on. Lynn is suggesting that I just real quick uh, spin my Periscope screen around so that they can see kind of what I'm oh, looking at here. Cool. Now okay. that's my Facebook page. Wait, where am I gonna? Where do I? Where am I gonna show? Well, hold on. It's because it's plugged into power. So here's the, here's the screen that I'm looking at right now. 
So here's me and Yo Pickles and my Facebook feed, right? How cool. There's my Twitter feed down here that you guys are, are if you share with, uh, at, or sorry, hashtag Bob Doyle Show, um, it will appear in the Twitter feed, which isn't showing on the screen right now, but I'll show it in just a few minutes. Um, so yeah, that's it. And then over here was the, the page that I was showing you over on, uh, over on, uh, full scope TV, all the stats. Hold on. I'm flipping that's my screen. Awesome, I, know, I know. I know. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. It, I know I'm blowing your mind, right? I'm blowing your mind. There's too much going on. I'm pretty mind blown on like your setup. Like when I'm, when I'm looking over here, I'm actually looking at his Facebook and just the whole setup is like so cool. Like I'm like, teach me Bob, teach I know, me, teach I, me your ways. I love it. I love it. I love it so much. Um, yes, it is very geeky, and it is. I have a broadcast background, so I'm used to pushing a lot of buttons and coordinating things. So this is like, you know, this is just like so much fun for me. Even when I screw it up, you know, even when I screw it up, I just like being able to play with it. So anywho, all right. But yes, I love the idea that you did this positive thing because, of course, when you come in to a room like that. And because somebody did it to us, to, to Lynn and I, I don't guess it was you, but about a week ago, Lynn and I were doing our fun with Bob and Lynn Periscope thing. And suddenly it went from 11 people to like 76, all these hearts. And we're, and it's just, how can that not make you smile? Right. I mean, and, and, and like you said, everybody's being positive and all of that stuff. So that combined with what happened yesterday, you know, with my mentality going in was, I don't know that there's a reason for me with the things that I want to do, given that I want to do a show like this, which is all technical and all this, you know, special effects stuff. I don't know that, that, uh, staying on Facebook is really the direction I want to go. And then yesterday happened. And then what that, what that reestablished to me is that there are still people over there on, on Periscope who are loving Periscope, who like that whole intimacy, because there is something very different about what the Periscope people are experiencing here and then what you're experiencing here on the Bob Doyle show, because there's a different, there's just a different energy around show. And then this, you know, when you're really face to face with somebody. So it's an intimacy thing. And I'm trying, you know, to, to bring the, the intimate part of Bob Doyle into this show too. But at the same time, I do want like to do all my technical jazz. So it's a compromise, but it made me realize that, you know, Periscope still, first of all, there are clearly still people there. 2,000 new people came on yesterday, apparently, and jumped on my screen. I mean, it, that that really, I think that indicates, right, that I'm guessing as I was going through, I'm, and I'm talking to you now, Yo Pickles, as I'm going through uh, all these new people, one heart, they were clearly brand new, clearly brand new. They had come in and they all had, were following about the same amount of people, which which says to me that Periscope probably sets them up with something to fault. They click yes and they move on through, kind of like with Twitter. Suggested people you follow. Do you know if that's true? No, I don't think they do that, but no? um, if you were trending, um, that's kind of like their suggested thing. So if anybody's new, um, it will be like these are people that we're recommending to follow right now. So um, I don't really understand the trending list. Actually, it's kind of like a new thing. It used to be like all done off hearts, So, but it was always the same 10 people that had 10 million hearts up on top, and you never got to explore or see anyone else. Yeah. So they actually just changed this thing where – um, it's trending off of like how many hearts you're getting and how many people are coming in at a certain time. Like, um, if you have a huge, like boom of followers or, uh, of viewers, like that could be like a trending thing. Hmm. But to be honest, I don't really understand it because I've never, been, never trended before, but I've had like a lot of people on my broadcast before. You said thousand, you day, used I, a number that was yeah, in the thousands. Yeah, I went live the other day and it was like, I was only on for about 15 minutes and I had almost 9,000, I think it was like 8,900 people in just 15 minutes, which you would think that would make you trend. So it kind of get, it's a little bit confusing, but I would just run with it because it's awesome that you were trending and it's just a sign for you to stay on Periscope. And to be honest, Periscope um, to me has died a little bit. I don't know if it's just me not using it as much because I kind of moved over to Snapchat, huh? um, but like, I feel like the notifications and people aren't getting them. So you were saying like your replay viewers were um, really high. Yeah. So what happens, like I've seen a lot when I do um, my flash mob or if I invite people in, they'll get a lot of replay viewers because for some reason they're not getting the notification to see it live, but they will get the notification that I went live on their news feed or whatever. So mm. I think a lot of the, when I do do um, flash mobs and stuff, people will watch it off of the replay, which is kind of cool. So. 
Yeah, and so yeah, I'm glad happy that you got that many people coming in oh yeah it's great and it does make me obviously want to get back and 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 now obviously yeah. those people most of those people most of those 1857 have no clue who i am they may not enjoy anything i do and they may unfollow almost immediately which is fine but it's still a big a big injection of people to assess the show and maybe they haven't turned off notifications yet that usually takes place after about three days of hearing <laughs> Right when you first joined Periscope, yeah. um, but anyway, so I'm I'm so sorry you guys can't hear her better. But the problem with notifications is that when you have a decent number of people you follow, dot dot dot. Rachel's saying, um, yeah, I you know I just didn't feel like the notifications were getting out either. But now what I'm doing, they're not, they're not, they're not getting out at all. So I don't know what it is if they're like doing something. But I even have like I have a big following on Periscope, and you would think if I was to go live, more than 20 people would get a notification. Like if I have almost 30,000 people and 20 people are coming in. Even when I was on your live thing, I was inviting people in. I'm inviting 30,000 people. 30,000 people are getting supposed to get a notification on their phone. Right. But like it's they're not getting it. So I don't know what it is, but um, they need to fix it because I think it's making a lot of people kind of get frustrated because um, it's all about building your community, but your community is not getting anything out of it. So... And that's one of my main that's one of my main things here with 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 um, Facebook is because the sharing and all that stuff they've got that down right. I mean, if I share yeah, over it's here, it, it's going to get delivered. And I've got oh, by the way, I totally I totally forgot. And I need to do this. Hopefully, this will. Yes, I have j I'm just pasting something in in the comments, and I should have done this at the, at the top. But this is speaking of notifications and being notified and sharing the word, sharing the love. Um, what I just typed in there, there's three links in there. The first two are notification links. If you click the first one and agree, then when I go live or have a show-related announcement, I'll click, you know, you'll get a Facebook notification, just like a regular Facebook notification. So no email required. And then the second one, if you click that, you'll get a notification on your desktop. Um, not even if you you know you don't need email or whatever it'll just appear on your desktop and then link right to the show so that's the other thing again I'm just trying to avoid email because I don't like it just as much as you don't like it and then uh, the Bob Doyle and then the third one it says Bob Doyle show dot com slash tweet that will pop up a Twitter box with everything filled in that you need you can change the message if you want to but do leave in the link back to the show and the hashtag Bob Doyle show so that you'll end up in this Twitter feed, this live yep. Twitter feed along the so bottom cool. of the screen, because who doesn't want to see their name in lights, right? It's so yeah, fun. Look what I did. People want to tweet more. Yeah, and it makes me, I should probably be reading these before I just approve them, but hey, who has the time? I got stuff going on. I got people I'm talking to right now. I can't be, you know, <laughs> monitoring the content of my own show. So anyway, um, so yeah, so it does make me want to go back and do Periscope more regularly. One of the things that, that if you are new to Periscope and you want to do this, I would say be as regular as you can because I was there for a while and then you drop off. And if you drop off, it's it's hard to get them back sometimes. You know, it's just like they just, yeah. it, it, it's like pulling them back. And I felt like, well, I just had screwed this up. And now I'm just going to start over at Facebook Live because the people are there. They already know me. I can I can do Facebook Live into my Law of Attraction groups, and it's targeted. And those people are – it's just better demographically for me to move most of my stuff over to Facebook Live because of all the reasons I just said, and then some. But yeah. there's nothing – there. It you can't compare to that feeling, that experience you get um, with the Periscope. Although with phone, it's very similar – they even have, I, from what I understand, you can tap the screen and thumbs will go up instead of hearts now. That's what I understand if oh, you're doing really? it on your phone. Yeah. But it doesn't. Thank oh. you very much. Best voice on Periscope, Jay Forsyth. Again, one of the early Periscope followers in our in me and Lynn's world. And it's just so nice to have, have all of you pop up. And thanks for the continued hearts and all of that. Thanks for sticking around, especially when you couldn't even hear who I was interviewing. Um, but yes. <laughs> it's so, a secret. Yeah, yeah. I'm all about secrets, right? No. But yeah. I love sharing this stuff, too. That's why I just geek out and show you my screens. And this is what I'm doing. And again, the let me type this in. I'm going to just type this in. The software that I'm using. Is called Wirecast. And again, it's not for everybody because truly the, the mental gymnastics that I have to do to make this happen, it's significant. And to be able to also stay focused on two different conversations and all of that, it's going to take some experience, a little bit of practice. But it's technically possible. And also, you could have a producer. 
who just kind of knows when to switch things and you just sit there and deliver your content. But it does up the level of your stuff. I mean, it takes you from being, hey, I'm yeah. in my bedroom to I'm a professional because see, I can yeah. do green screen. So that means listen to me, All right? Hi, Robin. I'm really welcoming good. those of you, the, the new folks into, if you're, if you're new, yes, I'm social media Jedi. Well, that's, that might be overstating it just a bit, but it is something I want to be. So let's yeah. see. Dan says, saw the link appear on chat before you send in the video. Some thumbs up for you. Thank you for the thumbs up. I can't see them. That's the, that's the downfall of doing it this way because I can't see all the thumbs up on my screen. I just have to trust you. I do. I will be able to count likes and whatnot. Uh, hey, Christine has joined. Jeffrey Miller has joined and is watching. So thank you all. And normally I'm much more attentive and welcoming and talking to each and every one of you. But this is kind of a different occasion. First time I've actually had a real, which way am I pointing? This way. A real interview scheduled. And it Yay! worked all the way from Korea. That's right. Well, and <laughs> it's the least I could do after you gave me 2,000 followers in 24 hours and made me trend. Well, Bob, I really think we were meant to meet. So I'm actually... Glad that I swing, I swung by your broadcast. And Me too. Your title is the reason why I, I came in because when I saw that your title was I'm leaving Periscope, like obviously something bad happened or you were you just needed a little up. That's why your title is what brought me in. So I, that's what I, I wondered. I, Periscope. I hope you can do something together and collaborate with them. That's what I do. I use Periscope actually to find people with tattoos and also to find. I have a talent show on Blab. I don't know if you know I have a talent show. I um, don't. Blab's got talent. It's a really big talent show. Yeah. So I actually use Periscope to find talent and find tattoos to bring over to my other shows on my other social media. So maybe you can do something where you're, you're interviewing just like you're doing with me. Like you can do some stuff. Can I just? Both. Well, I can't. I do yeah. my talent. Do you have a talent? I, I, ladies and gentlemen, do I have a talent? Okay. Oh my God! Can we do a live audition right now? No, you can't do it now. I'm sorry. <laughs> But, but yes, I do, I do love to play. This is actually where I was going with this whole thing about Periscope is that with the ukulele, which is a passion of mine, I have a hard time getting into the right energy when I'm on Facebook to do it, but it's perfect for Periscope. It's that intimacy that we talked about, you know, when, when it's just me and the phone and it's sitting right there. I mean, sometimes I will geek out and run it through my iPad so I can do effects because I can't just leave well enough alone. But... It's still that intimacy is there. And I just, when I'm sitting in this chair, it's just hard for me to get into the whole, all right, now we're going to take it down a notch or up a notch or whatever, and then do the ukulele thing. It's been done. It's happened. But that's not what this show is about. Um, I got to hear it, though. He had you no. Gotta, you got to swing by maybe this Sunday. Sunday is the last round of auditions, and maybe you can come play and blast out your ukulele for my show. Okay, remind me. I'll do it. Remind me, and I'll <laughs> show like up. It. Hey, somebody on somebody on Periscope was just saying um, something about the ukulele. Robin plays the ukulele. Awesome! Thank you. I'm glad I saw that. So, Robin, you need to post something. Okay, good. I'm gonna follow you right now. I'm gonna view your profile and I'm gonna follow you. Food addiction specialist and a speaker for 30 years. Nat you lost 200 pounds naturally. Whoa! Wow. Okay. So awesome. Cool. So so everybody and, and if if you are new to Periscope. If you're brand new, like some of you may may be, it's nice to when people when you see these comments roll up, you can cut, you can click the comments, view the person's profile, and then follow them, and then and then hope allegedly be notified when they go live. You know, right. but uh, anyway, so so a lot of people are following you, Yo Pickle, uh, and Autumn. Thank you for being here, Autumn. Also in my voiceover class. See, I got all these wonderful communities. They all come to support me. I've got my boundless living coaches in here. I've got my my voiceover coaches here, and all my old Periscope peeps. It's just like this is the best day ever. I it just I don't know how I can get better than this. Yay! Yeah. All right. Awesome. Okay. Well, I so <laughs> I, I mean I could let's do let's do, let's let's fig, let's find out more ways to play together. Definitely give me the information on your Sunday thing, and I will show up. You can hand, and we will will play. But anything you, you want to do. Can. Anything you want to do together, I'm up for it. I love collaborating. And any of you who are watching, who are Periscopers, live, you know, live streamers at all, live streaming and personal broadcasting is totally where it's at for me. If you watch this show, which it's not a live stream show, except that's all I talk about. 
the only problem and the only reason is because that's where I am right now in my own journey. And when I do a show like this, it's natural for people to go, how are you doing that? And I don't mind talking about it. You know, I don't mind sharing that. And uh, it's actually fun for me to share the technology and all of that stuff. So, Yo Pickles, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank, thank you. Thank you for having me. I'm so glad that we met, actually. You said that you saw me at the summit, but I'm like, I'm trying to think. I feel like I've... I, saw I wasn't you there. I watched I you. Talk I watched the live stream. I okay, was at okay. home. That's Lynn good. was there, That's though. Good, I was like racking my brain. Did I meet him at the summit? No. Like, you met Lynn, though, probably. But I'm glad you got to watch, because actually my, my panel was how to use other social medias with Periscope. So that's cool that you watched, and... Um, it kind of all fits together, and I'm glad that our puzzle's connected. Yeah, uh, things, awesome. Yeah, it's really cool. All right, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, yo, pickles in the house. Okay, bye. We'll talk soon. All right, bye. So, well, that was awesome, wasn't it? Was that awesome? I thought that was awesome. And now I can I can give you all a little bit more attention. And so let's let's see if we can catch up. You didn't get to meet Yo Pickles, Lynn says, but she saw her and buddies with the same peeps. Dawn is in the house, Rachel, of course, and uh, was it awesome? So glad for you. What do you mean, was it awesome? Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that was really what I came to talk to you about. Let me, let me pop over to this browser again one more time and show you again this full scope TV because if, you, if, you're, if you've never seen it again, I mean, if you've never seen it before and you're on Periscope, you're gonna wanna see it, right? And it's a way for, if you don't know, uh, Periscope, the thing about Periscope, if you're watching on Facebook Live, is the broadcasts only stay live 24 hours and then they go away. There used to be a service called Catch.me that would record them and save them. That's gone away. Full Scope TV is another alternative. You can also save them to your phone and upload them to YouTube, which is what I do. Um, but, but they're also available on fullscope.tv and there's all these stats as I was talking about before. If you go down, you can see all the people who were on your on your Periscope, you can see how many comments they left. You can see the comments from each individual, right? You can see what time they joined, what percentage of your broadcast they watched, the whole thing. It's crazy the information that you can get from this thing if you're a big geek like me. But now I was this close. Hey, McMeachin Doug, Doug McMeachin, I'm guessing. And there's people still, still coming in. And by the way, there's still people following from yesterday's trend. So something magical about those about trending on Periscope like I've never seen before. And so I've I've just made the decision to not totally abandon Periscope right now because it seems like that would be silly if I've got all these new potential people in here, why would I just run away from them right now? It's an opportunity for for me to re-engage with Periscope and use it along with what I'm doing here on Facebook Live. Figure out a way to do this, whether or not I I integrate it like I did before. In fact, let me uh, again, I'm going to bring Periscope I just want to make sure I'm off of here. I got too many things going, but uh, bring you guys back onto the show because I can do it. And so if I can do it, why wouldn't I? Let's make sure that it's a working. Yep. Uh, let's see. Now we're back on in Periscope land. So if you're on Periscope, give, oh, you got lots of hearts. That's good. We've dwindled down. Yo, Pickles is back in the house and she invited followers. See, we can, we can revive this even though I was about to end it. Exhale, Bill. I remember you from yesterday. That was fun, Yo Pickles. That was awesome fun. I so appreciate that. And I'm really appreciative that it worked technically. Wasn't that a bonus, everyone? I didn't have to sweat. Well, I, there was one thing that went a little wonky, but I don't remember what it was. I think it was, oh yes, switching over to her. But that's nothing. Yeah, the universe is talking to me. It says, stay on Periscope, Bob. Don't leave. We got to bring, we're going to throw Yo Pickles at you if you try to leave. And that's exactly what happened. And I'm so glad that that happened. Uh, you did, and Marie didn't even know Periscope existed, and it's been around for over a year. And so I started there with personal broadcasting with, uh, well, Lynn and I did a podcast for years on Spreaker, which is over on iTunes. And then we moved over to Periscope, and we were going to do our show on Periscope. And we still do our show on Periscope until I get all set up with this technology to do our show in here. Um, and and how good is it that there's two Bobs on the screen at the same time? That's a bonus. See, you only paid for one, and you get two, two, two bobs in one. Well, geez, yo, Pickles, I'm honored. You, thou, the thousands of viewers that you can get on a Periscope, that's phenomenal. If I could do that with a ukulele concert, that's what I keep trying to say. I've never finished this statement. Well, I did say that ukulele was, was more suited, but I'm, I'm trying to create a commitment 
Yes, it's the Bob Doyle twins. We say the exact same thing at the same time, but we do it in mirror image. We've always been like that our entire lives. But I've always said that, you know, maybe choose an evening because I, I, I connect better and get in that groove a little bit better. You know, do an evening of ukulele playing. Not a concert per se, but just like, hey, I'm working on the uke, I'm noodling the uke, I'm working on this thing, and, and just share that intimate experience with you. And that's how I think I want to do the uke, mostly on Periscope. I may bring it on over here. In fact, I created this whole background here, you know, just so I could play the uke with the lake in the background and, you know. But I haven't done that yet. Haven't gotten the feeling. How did he do that? You can do that? How do you do that? Well, play the dancing. I will when the show, I will when the show ends, which is just any moment now. I'm going to, Lynn likes my intro and outro, which I thought, ironically, I thought she was not going to like them and go, that's too silly. Why are you doing that? Huh? Oh, oh, do it behind me. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, see, she directs me from the other room and it always brings things to a grinding halt. All right. No, let's see if this is going to even work. No, it's not, I'm, it's not going to work, and I'm not going to try. I'm not going to try right now. I'm going to say goodbye to everybody. I want to make sure I, got, I, I covered everything. I think I did. So, ladies and gentlemen, that song right there means that the Bob Doyle Show is coming to a close. And I cannot tell you how much I appreciate your attendance here and your sharing and everything you did to make this show, well, a memorable, wonderful experience. And I'm thanking you, too, here on Periscope. It was great for you to hang with me this entire time. You can watch the replay of this at BobDoyleShow.com or here on Facebook at Facebook.com slash Boundless Living. And I will keep you going, Periscope. I'm going to end the Facebook Live broadcast. You guys are awesome. We'll talk soon.